Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, today let us take a look at this item which I got from Lazada. It is supposed to be a cordless, brushless, uh, 13 millimeter hammer drill. Well, I hope so. We'll soon find out. Uh, I got this from, uh, I bought this for 600, uh, 6,317 pesos inclusive of shipping so okay okay i hope it is really indeed brushless and there it is nice it's quite big okay. you've got the drill itself battery, charger, and the manual. Let's try to see if it's got a charge. Actually it does. We got a keyless jack. Nice, and we've got three settings here. One for uh, screwing and drilling and the hammer drill or impact drill. Okay, that's nice. We've got two speed. Okay, this is low. And this is high. We've got reverse and and forward. So actually that's nice and it's really actually a cordless drill. The way I can tell I mean brushless drill, the way I can tell is that if we take a look at this. A brush drill would have some sparks in it, okay. so there's really no, we don't see any sparks that is emanating from the brush, so I'm quite happy with this. So this is indeed a brushless drill. I'll show you comparison. Okay, so this is the first cordless drill that I bought. I will post a link somewhere here. And if you take a look at this, I don't know if you can see that, but, but basically there you can see a spark from the brush. I hope to show you that. See? So there's a spark. So this is a brush drill, uh, and this only goes up to. 10 millimeter. I mean the chuck is only up to 10 millimeter as opposed to this. It's got a bigger chuck capacity up to 13 millimeter, so it can take at least up to 13 millimeter drill bit. And the reason I bought this is because, well, this is a brush drill. Apparently, uh, from my research, a brush drill is much more powerful than a a. I mean a brushless drill is much more powerful than a brush drill, okay? But basically this is uh, still is fine, this still is working good. Uh, the only issue that I have with this is I broke one of the teeth of the battery to lock it in. But that was my fault because every time I would uh, put in the battery I would as though I'm putting in a magazine of a pistol. So that was my fault and uh, a little update on this. If you want to check this out or post a leak, uh, is that this is not really actually aluminum, it's just made of plastic. But all in all, still nice, there's still no wobble in it. But I bought this because this one does not have a hammer function, as you can see, it's only a drilling fun function. As opposed to this, we have a chuck. Uh, I mean, this is the torque settings and we have three settings for screwing uh, drilling and drilling through con concrete so all in all to believe I'm happy with this so let's put it through its paces but first let's uh, charge the battery and check if it's really 20 volt a 20 volt battery okay, okay so I forgot before uh, checking out the battery the voltage I mean as well as the charger uh, let me just show you a much more closer look. This time I do believe this 
uh, what do you call this deal? Let's just put it, uh, let's just say it's a crown. I do believe this is really made of uh, aluminum, as opposed to this one. It's just presented to be as such, but it's not really aluminum. And the chuck is a all steel or all metal chuck. Let's try to perform a scratch test. Okay, so I did. So I don't think that this is really aluminum as well. It's just made of plastic. But anyway, uh, it looks durable. It's nice. It's got a nice weight to it. So that's it. So let's check the battery. Okay, so let's check the voltage of the battery and find out if, if it's really 20 volts. Oh, by the way, before I forgot, uh, forget, uh, maybe you want to see the manual. Basically, it's in Chinese, so that's it. So let's do that now. DC. Okay, so 17.9 volts, so it's low bad. So let's check the output voltage of the the charger. Okay, output voltage is 21.9 volts, so close to 22 volts. So safe to say that this battery is 20 volts indeed. But let's charge it and let's see how long it will take to charge. Okay. It's now charging now. So anyway, uh, we're still waiting for it. It's about uh, an hour and ten minutes now. Uh, let's just weigh this thing while we're waiting. Okay, so it weighs about 1.1 kilogram. Okay, so after about more or less two hours, it's now fully charged. It turned green. So let's check the output voltage of this battery. Twenty one point fourteen volts. Okay, so let's weigh this thing with the fam uh, battery on it. So one point six kilos, or okay, with the battery. Okay, so let's first try this on concrete. This is a ten millimeter concrete bit. Okay, so let's put that on hammer function, and let's try to drill through this. A concrete floor. Okay. You can see? No problem. So let's try drilling to through steel. Still, and I really like this design. Very easy. Okay. So let's try dr drill through this, I do believe uh, about 5mm thick uh, steel angle bar or angle iron. Let's put it on drill function. This is 7mm. Uh, Okay, no problem. That's very nice. So let's try to put a thread on here. This is M8 thread. By the way, please use, if you're going to do this method, use a protective eyewear. This could break and shatter and the pieces can, may, might you know, hit your eyeball, so you don't want that. So let's see about let's try to put that on the screw function so we can control the torque m8 top okay so the chuck is sleeping okay so the chuck is sleeping how about let's put that here Okay, let's try again. Okay, let's increase the torque. Okay. Okay, let's increase the torque again. Just want to show you. 
No. Okay, so. That's very nice. Very powerful. Okay. So let's stop one more hole, a bigger hole. This is a 9mm drill bit. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the drill function again. Okay, that's actually very nice, but very powerful compared to the other one. So this M10 uh, top, M10 by 1.5. Okay, let's put that on there. So let's put some oil. Okay, so actually, it's, I'll just show you. This thing's got a lot of torque. Okay. Okay, so it just twist again. Okay, twist again. So it's coming loose. Actually, you really need to. It's got the power, but the chop is not able to hold this because uh, it's got four sides unlike this it's not something like this okay uh, a hex uh, side or I don't know what you call that exactly but basically let's just try to remove this after reverse it okay so let's try that again is not able to get a grip on the good grip on the top okay let's do that again so it's got torque the problem is the this top is not really meant to go on this jack so uh, not working so it's eating through this bit okay but anyway uh, as far as torque is concerned it can so that's nine millimeter let's use this 13 millimeter drill bit okay let's lock that down and let's put some oil That's actually very powerful. It's amazing. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ha! Ah, imagine that. 30 millimeter. No problem at all. It's going to twist your hand, I tell you. So. Uh, I will try to do next I will use this it's a step drill so if only this top has got a shank something like this this won't come loose but unfortunately it does not so let's try this let's put some oil in it too Aha! Uh -huh. uh, that's actually very powerful. Mm -hmm. That's gonna push my hand. Okay, so we're almost through. Okay, that's gonna twist and possibly. Uh, well, injure my risk, but as you can see, that went up up to here. So most probably this is 18 millimeters. I have no doubt that this can go through 
drill through this. I have no doubt at all. It's just that it's difficult because it's going to t twist your uh, well, your risk without um, risking yourself of injury. So, uh, what else? But anyway, uh, this is the drill function. I mean, the screw function. So basically, uh, there's a clutch disc on here. So put it on number one, number five. That's how tight you can tighten the screw. So if number ten is actually, I'm already considerably uh, gripping it hard. So number ten, let's try to see if we can. I can still grip that. Actually, it's already very becoming very difficult. It's 320. Okay, so I can no longer grip it without burning my hand. So anyway, uh, well, there's some heat on it, but basically that's normal. Okay, so I also would like to point out that the LED light uh, would stay on for about a, a couple of seconds. So that's actually nice. So when you're drilling. Even if you haven't started drilling for, uh, yet, you're, you've already got your illumination. So, am I happy with this? I do believe I am. Uh, it's exceeded my expectation. I just hope that it will last. Uh, so, full disclosure, I do not advertise for this product. I do not even know what the... Uh, actual brand of this but on the battery it says Anir power okay Anir power so it's really a 20 volt battery it's really a, a, a brushless drill so anyway uh, I think it's time to wrap it up uh, I'm sorry if this video is too long so, so anyway uh, like I always say in my other videos I do not advertise for this item uh, I bought this with my own money. I'm not affiliated with any sellers that online that sells this item. So if you like this video, please subscribe and like. Thank you for watching.